During the last decades, we've seen plenty of amazing moments that looked almost too good to be true. However, there were also some moments that were as unforgettable but not because of their greatness, but rather because they were so horrible. So let's go through the most disastrous plays the sport of golf ever witnessed. Let's get right into it. Mark Kalkovecchia the United States of America won the Ryder Cup at Kiawa Island in 1991, also known as the War on the Shore, but Kalkavecchia did not attend the celebration. In his single match against Colin Montgomery, he was four games to the good with four to go. Mont rallied to win the 15th and 16th holes of the tournament. They reached the 17th hole, which was a par 3. Monty's tee shop ended up in the water, seemingly handing the match to his American adversary, Kalkavecchia. On the other hand, had other plans, shanking the ball into the water with one of the worst shots ever seen at this level. To make matters worse, he even missed a putt from two feet away to make matters worse. He lost the hole and the 18th hole, and he later admitted that he was on the verge of having a nervous breakdown as the result of it. His choice to not attend the party was to take a stroll down to the beach where he sank to his knees in the sand and sobbed his heart out. Tom Kite President Gerald Ford played golf and when he did, it was advised that people stay away from him, especially when he had a driver in his hands. As he once put it, the first sign that he was getting better was the realization that he was striking fewer people. So imagine the stunning silence on the 11th tee at the 1992 US PGA Championship when Tom Kite, who was known for his accuracy and consistency in his driving, came over the top of the ball and hit it 60 yards, nearly decapitating the gallery who had gathered around the freeway to watch him hit the ball. By the way, do you agree that this one was an absolute blamage? Let us know in the comments section down below. Ricky Fowler Fowler was struggling with his game at the 2020 US PGA Championship at Harding Park, and he was in danger of missing the cut going into the final round of the tournament. All of that changed when he attempted to flick in a tiny bogey putt on his 15th hole in the second round and completely missed the shot. It resulted in a stroke for him, he also missed a putt on the next hole, and he ended up missing the cut by a single shot in total. It is reasonable to assume that he will not make the same mistake again in the near future. John Van de Velde The Frenchman's collapse on the 18th hole of the 1999 Open at Carnosti had cemented his place in golf history as one of the greatest ever. He stood on the tee knowing he needed a 6 to win. He actually took 7 shots and went on to lose in a playoff matchup. There were some truly horrific shots among the ones he hit on that hole, but the one that stands out in my mind is his third from the rough, which he hit from the rough. He was no more than 70 yards from the green when he chunked the ball 30 yards into the Barry Burn, despite having a very poor lie in the fairway. Stick around the end of the video to find out what other disastrous moments we have on our list. Hunter Mahan in addition to being one of golf's most likable players, Mahan also enjoys a high level of popularity among his peers and teammates, in his prime at least, until the 2010 Ryder Cup at Celtic Manor in Ireland. It must be acknowledged that chipping has never been Mahan's strong suit, especially when under pressure. And there was no time when the pressure was greater than during his crucial singles match against Graham McDowell, which determined the outcome of the tournament. Putting in a crucial putt at the 16th hole, McDowell put himself in a two-shot lead with two holes remaining. They reached the 17th hole where, with everything on the line, Mahan chunked the most straightforward of chips to hand the match and the trophy to McDowell, who won by one stroke. He couldn't be consoled. Tiger Woods Everybody misses their shots. As it turns out, even golfers who have won 15 major championships can be beaten. The sight of Tiger Woods pounding out massive drives is nothing new to us. But there was a startling moment at the 2013 Abu Dhabi Championship when Woods walked onto the first tee to thunderous applause, and it was hard to believe. After hitting a drive that traveled no more than 100 yards, he walked away from the table in complete silence. He made contact with the ground before hitting the ball, resulting in a drive that would have embarrassed the majority of 28 handicappers. Hale Irvin Irvin was the mastermind behind the most expensive air shot in history. It happened on the 14th green of the Royal Birkdale Golf Course during the third round of the Open Championship in 1983. Irvin attempted to tap in a 6-inch putt with the back of his putter, but he completely missed the ball in the process. He would go on to lose to Tom Watson by a single shot in the following round. The following is his succinct explanation. I went up to backhand a 6-incher, missed it and finished second to Watson by one stroke. Careless. 
I'm sure even my grandma would have made this one, right? Make sure to write your thoughts in the comments section. Rory McElroy. After hitting a perfect drive down the middle of the 7th fairway at the 2014 Dubai Desert Classic, Rory McElroy pulled out a 3-wood for his second shot at the 572-yard par 5. According to the Northern Irishman, it's a shot that is both meat and drink. He was attempting to hit a high fade into the green on this particular occasion. The result was an awful duck hook that only traveled about 100 yards before he was killed. Even Rory, after getting over his initial shock, was able to see the humor in this situation. Ik Kim You get to the 18th hole and realize you only have a 12-inch putt to win the Kraft Nabisco Championship, one of the majors in women's golf. Your name is Ik Kim, and as you stand over the ball, you already are preparing your victory speech and thinking about how this victory will change your life in the future. You plan who you will thank and how you will spend the money you receive as a result of winning the contest. You already won three times on the LPGA Tour, but this is your chance to take home the trophy. The tiny putt is referred to as a formality by the commentators. You return the club and watch in horror as it horseshoes out of your hands and unsurprisingly, you go on to lose the playoff to Sun Young Yu on the first hole of the second round. And then you wonder how you're going to get over the experience with that miss. Before we jump into the worst shot of all time, be sure to subscribe for more golf content. Let's get into the worst moment of all time. John Ram. This is the moment when world number one golfer John Ram makes himself appear as if he is a complete novice to the sport. On the par 3 7th hole of the Arnold Palmer Invitational on Thursday, the Spaniard was faced with a seemingly simple 10-inch putt for par, which he missed by 1 inch. However, he managed to decelerate his putter just before contact, resulting in the ball moving only a fraction of an inch. Ram missed putt was the shortest of his PGA Tour career, and it was the shortest missed putt of the season by any player, including himself. Following an early bogey, the reigning US Open Championship would finish with an even par 72 to tie for 51st place at the end of the round, seven strokes behind first round leader Rory McIlroy. Prior to this day, Ram has cleaned up all 211 of his putts that were within three feet of the hole this season. I wish I could give you all the excuses in the world, the 27-year-old said. Afterwards, it just didn't feel good in my hands and I tried to stop and I didn't. I just simply didn't stop. I don't know. It was very odd. I've seen many things. I've seen the putter get a little stuck on a blade of grass on the way back and do something funny. Hit the ground before because you're not paying attention. I've seen so many things from a foot. I've seen some of the best putters in the world miss it because you don't really take a proper stance. It sucks to give away a shot like that, to be honest. Be sure to check out the video about the craziest golf fans out there, and we'll see you later.